Hi, I'm Dennis Lennart, the director of this episode. Hi, I'm Jake Rodkin. I didn't really work on this episode, but I'm hanging out. Ubermax. Hi, I'm oh, yeah. Mayus, and I did some cutscenes in this game. Uh, hi, I'm Thorsten. Same. Hi, I'm Nicholas Herman, and I did the uh, good bits of this part. Did <laughs> 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 a resident <laughs> butt on this calendar? <laughs> 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 oh, this is 304. This is the fourth episode. Fourth episode. Yay. Three, Three, four. Four. Yeah, I got it's the nice. honor to make the whole intro cutscene. And it was fun. You better tell them that. And yeah, there were a lot of them. characters Thanks. to block. <laughs> it was, Sounds I, uh, I, uh, I did a first draft of the cutscene with with uh, roughly animations and rough with locking of the characters, and then I went for vacation for two weeks. And when I came back, I got a lot of bug reports because people didn't get that it still was first draft. <laughs> Sorry, there's a sand behind the stinky sand. Yeah. Oh, and there. Uh oh. The creepiest homie, Bohemian Rhapsody. Uh, so you but Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah. <laughs> that was Jake coming in and I was like, oh, we're going to do this fourth thing. And you were like, I hate that. I hate you forever. Yeah. <laughs> you put that in the game and then you saw it and you are like, that's kind of sweet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Secrets that lie beyond the alley of the dolls. Awesome title card by Stephen Westin. It's loosely based on something. <laughs> Again. So, oh, that uh, intro. Epic cutscene, Myers. Yes. Um, I think everyone can away. see that this cutscene was inspired by the movie Boogie Nights. <laughs> 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 that was, that was my direction was like, I was like, the, the intro of Boogie Nights, and you were like, sweet. Wait, I haven't seen Boogie Nights. So yeah. I, we, that night we actually went back. <laughs> I showed and it had to your own boogie night. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Whoa. And the next morning I started this. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, so they yeah, a lot a long camera shot without any cut. Yeah, it's very cool. That was fun. Oh, there was a cut. Oh, yeah. That's when the cut starts. That was, I got tired of yeah, it. Nick, so. Nick was mad that this was stolen for a while, but yeah. now you love it because it's a sweet cut scene. Well, yeah, now I love it because I didn't want to do it after I had a million other things to do. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, creepy arms. The music in this opening is really good, especially this. Like Here it is. To boil the haggis. Oh yeah. <laughs> check it, check it. <laughs> there it is. Right here. It's the best. Yeah. Yep. And that's on the electric guitar is Bill Storkson who does all of our stuff, and you can also hear him wailing out to the max on the Brutal Legend soundtrack. Oh really? He, yeah. All the like most of the non-licensed, uh, like all the original score. He's the guy who plays all the crazy guitars oh, in awesome. that game. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> That's Jared or Julian? That's Julian. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is my cutscene. Oh, it's not as good as mine. Oh, well, yeah. He's German, so. <laughs> yeah, we did put a lot of uh, effort up front to make the clone attack feel. Like a kind of crappy B zombie attack movie. Yep. Well, there's, there's the, the classic zombies reaching through the wall, pulling a guy out. Which, spoilers. I mean, <laughs> oh, yeah, I hand animated this. Oh, no. Sorry. Jessica. Oh, no. Jessica. Jessica did that, actually. I like that whenever Skunk Ape actually gets a hold of a toy, he gives a big soliloquy about how he and this toy are going to think Right, and then immediately and loses it. And then, right, like, in the call chamber, he does the same thing with yeah. the robot. Oh, uh, creepy, enchanting. Also, this this uh, puzzle actually made me try to um, yeah try one of those peanut butter chocolate cups. Ah, mm. oh, they're delicious. I love them. <laughs> this is Sam. Sam right there is expressing my sentiments on every time you get powers. He oh, checks yeah. his watch because <laughs> I was sick of it by then. Ah, the Maya's cutscene. Oh and man, when I the whole production of this episode, I really was impressed when I first opened up this environment. <laughs> Just you can pull the camera like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had to. <laughs> yeah, you saw the it first like this, and I thought, okay, there's in the background there's a huge hall with Next? all these cabins, yeah. and then I moved the camera and realized how big that room is. Yeah. yeah. Gangers. This is a cool environment. And I think you did the original. <clears throat> the original script was just um, oh, them showing up, and then just leaving. And we just thought it would be cool to introduce them. It's sort of like the beginning of Act Two, and I was like, oh man, it would be cool if we could sort of humanize the clones there for a second. And then Myas 
did this. <laughs> like, what if there's no the music clone? cuts out? That's Perfect timing. <laughs> and there's like this sweet bit of interaction here. This was changed like when, five thousand times. Uh, yeah, it, it was. Landed back where it started. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, because we yeah we just so many people Whoa. liked it we cut it <laughs> and then so many people kept yeah. being mad that we cut it and so we finally <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> First, we did it more secretly, right? Without <coughs> Mike. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was, yeah, we had the idea. Stimley we're like, needs to know about this. Yeah, we thought it could be a really cool moment, but we knew we'd have to sell it. So Myas was like, ah, let me just try something. And we did it. And then I think a lot of people <laughs> <laughs> were like, yes. That's strange. This season has more instances of Max poking up from behind a wall at an angle than anything <laughs> yeah. has ever had. Nick doesn't like it, apparently. Uh, also, like yeah. like Sam's outfit is changing every time. It's now <laughs> yeah. you play... Every episode, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, not, not episode one. So here's the TF2 oh, dispenser. Nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, That's me good and show. Robert Oates, one of our programmers, <laughs> both thought it would be hilarious to put a TF2 dispenser in. We'd... Um, Banang. <coughs> we we play a lot of Team Fortress 2 in the office, and it turns out the Team Fortress team is a fan of Sam and Max. Yes. So we did this crazy thing where if you play Team Fortress and you owned Sam and Max Season 3, you'd be able to wear Max's head in Team Fortress, so we thought we'd reciprocate by hiding uh, a Team Fortress health dispenser. <laughs> and also a Banang inside the dispenser. And then, and then we decided, since we had this Easter egg, we would also nest the Telltale Banang Easter egg inside of the Team Fortress yes. Easter egg. And it was weird. We really? did. <laughs> Yeah, it was good. Oh, I remember that one. Kind of That's kind of mine. <laughs> I can tell. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. What are Don't look at me! Oh, sorry. That's a good classic Sam and Max person through a door. <laughs> I know, right? Human minds aren't equipped to comprehend. Hey, Sam, there's a guy in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is really good. That's really that's <laughs> <laughs> amazing Max thing. <laughs> 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 it's stupid, but awesome. Jake is pleased. Among them, Yog Sagoth, Elder Fiend of the Dark Dimension. I'm the sky portal from the last episode. <laughs> and I was that cloud sphincter. <laughs> oh, you can't see that in the background, but... There's a clone back there. Yeah. You can see him sometimes. Uh, oh, not oh, in this episode. But not not oh, there's... Here we go. Yes! Yes, <laughs> Being in Northern California, we had to have a ghost riding the whip. joke, and then... Uh, it's good that Max <laughs> asks if they were cloned in 2005, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Uncle Morty, <coughs> I stamp collection I is hit. Just like <laughs> whoever did these guys, had to like zoom in on the bottom corner because it's like a grandma <laughs> vacation photo. Casey, Casey did this one. I think it turned out really well. <laughs> oh wow, you guys actually did the weird poltergeist stuff where the lights flash yeah. and everything. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I know, Casey. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he's like scatting or something. <laughs> That's William Castle, the guy who plays Max. At any excuse, we'll just blather weird gibberish. What happened to you? I don't know. I was looking into all these rampaging sands, and all of a sudden, my spirit started pinballing through what? all sorts of nightmarish heck dimensions. She's ghost, she Your seance hadn't anchored me to this plane of existence, I can. may never have found my way home. Oh and now the camera cuts back, and there's six small bodies. She merged into one. Hey, I Her head's been around. Right. Of course you are, sir. And ball. And what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I know. Nick and I are like, we didn't play this part of it. Remember that time? Nice. <laughs> 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 hey, not many it's people have seen this cutscene, I guess. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, here we go. Best, the worst uh, part of the game. Oh. So oh, that's the best part, I guess. Wrong, wrong text, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> <Sad music. laughs> Those Sam show more respect for our car than we do. <laughs> Physics. <laughs> well, that was awfully convenient. <laughs> yeah. So this was done in a three hour or two. What? <laughs> oh. 
Three. <laughs> Looking at the tool at, at the, the animation the piece what? for all that stuff. Yeah, insane. What in the, in the Telltale tool? Oh. Oh, oh, we can say that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but yeah. Looking at looking at the amount of work that, that you put into that animation, Thorsten, was mind Oh god. Alright, here we go. Why is this what is this? <laughs> we walk and Mike's still know about this. We uh, walked on that like should until I get Mike in here? Six <laughs> AM, I guess. Uh six AM. Yeah. Yeah. I heard we, uh, rumors. That was that we, we had this I'd, I'd always wanted Sam, like we had the shorts there, I was like, there's gotta be some point where he tries to put them on. <laughs> And so we had this idea, and Mike said, no, 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 <laughs> unless it's the very last thing you do, and there's not involved with the puzzle, and it doesn't mess up the game flow at all. And so we made it like a little Easter egg where it's like basically a pixel hunt at the end there's of the game. There's only like one moment in the one game. One specific state that you can trigger it in, and you have to know it's there. <laughs> <laughs> so. I, I thought just it was went crazy. crazy. So, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was one of those things where we thought it would be funny. <laughs> And then once we told people, they were like, you should stay late and do that. So we stayed till like 6 in the morning, like two days before shipping. Or How something. come the water is louder than his laughter? What do you mean? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Sorry, I just like critiquing your, your chores and well, making you feel best. Like crap. <laughs> <laughs> it's like shot for shot we had a new idea <laughs> <laughs> nice that was our way of getting rid of the shorts and making yeah. it so nothing that's what you have to do and if, if there's an easter egg where you can click on something you have to have one of the characters be so mad at it that they throw it yeah, out of the right. game at the end uh, oh I did that one too my queen. Was, I would oh, have yeah. gotten here sooner, get my but the old scene. fool and his Seamus wouldn't oh. let me leave. Yeah. The sticky yeah. it has a very... It's actually really cool. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's a, it doesn't quite to come together, but so <laughs> all the scenes are really nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love that, that push in. It's the only way to get everything we want. Epic oh, animation. Baby. Come. <laughs> no! Do it. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 And then... Oh. Oh! 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 We were about to ask you the same question. We were? I was going to ask about biological compatibility issues. Fine. There's no point in denying it any longer. This is where Sal and I meet to revel in forbidden love. Yeah, the forbidden love thing. Not where we meet to discuss getting rid of our evil grandpa stick. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a nice step that was, on foot. That was and good, yeah. Explain that. Who did this cutscene? Mice. Where wow. did those come from? <laughs> 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 you, you yeah. Thanks, Nick. That's yeah. Yeah. Nice. You want to work for Telltale? <laughs> Sam? You want to go back to Germany what and go to art happened? school? <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah. Upside, oh. It looks like neither Stinky nor her chitinous boyfriend are the mm -hmm. master of Did the Did you guys samples. point out that this is our kitchen? On the downside. Oh, no, we didn't. That's a good point. Yeah, the kitchen there. Uh, Brian Gillies modeled it directly after the Telltale kitchen. So down to the actual cups with, like, butterflies on them. And the sign on the dishwasher that says dirty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh... We had to make it off model, but it was. It also includes Andrew Langley's Cafe yeah, Press version of the Monkey Island Grog Machine model. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> the this cutest. is in fact the second time an, an exact model of the Telltale Kitchen has <laughs> shown up because in 205 it's, our favorite. it's in hell as well. So Sam. whatever. Sam. <laughs> Stand back, Sam. I'll send those doggle gangers right into the this harbor. Oh yeah. This is the sweetest animations ever coming up. Who said that? Hello, folks. Oh. Not this one. This, this is pretty good. I mean, it's cool, but not as cool as the next one. This actually genuinely freaked people out. Uh, reading on the reading on the forums and reading hearing from reviewers, people did not like when the ventriloquist was dummy turned around and was alive. Which is good. I knew it was evil. Well, thankfully, like all evil dummies, Charlie's pretty much helpless without a host body. Am I safe? Kill it with fire, Max. This is it. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, oh. He steals so his good. hat, he steals his car, <laughs> and, and he punches it at the end. <laughs> that also creeped people out successfully, oh, which is Sam. sweet. Oh, I just had the most there are some hilarious dream. animations in that kind of scene. was making out with a giant cockroach. The background. Then an evil ventriloquist dummy <laughs> knocked us out and... <laughs> 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 That's a good environment. 
Yeah. Yeah. I like when Max recounts his dreams because they're either real and insane or false and insane. <laughs> <laughs> in season one when he dreamt that Sam was a giant walrus or something like that. Yeah. Oh, that's way more naked Sam flesh than I'm comfortable I don't know. with. It's in reality We've before now. It's good. Great show for you, I remember ladies these and germs. Hmm. For our first I remember the first like production Italian meetings for this sequence. <laughs> and just like no one really got it except for Stemley. And he's just like, no, you don't understand. There's just like, like 100 dancing Sams. And like <laughs> Max is glowing like all just crazy, you know. Well, we're just like, wow, all right. Back. And then Most it turned out crazy. You'll epic. be too busy <laughs> screaming and gouging your eyes out after your pathetic reality oh, is subsumed by the glories of the dark dimension. <laughs> but you won't want to miss it. <laughs> <laughs> when the great and terrible Junior makes his long-awaited return, <laughs> lovingly slips me onto one of his tentacles of anguish and plays with me. Those video game enemy blips is all still make me a little sad. Oh, yeah. Whatever. Where'd my toys go? Looking for these? Let's have a big dark dimension round of applause for Dennis's Dennis's favorite moment. Max. Without room tonight, Coming up. Oh, yeah. Coming up. Oh, yeah. Conjuring wouldn't be possible. I feel so violated. Uh oh. And now, how do we show? Uh, uh, I remember. Hang on, Sam. I'm coming to get you. <laughs> <laughs> it's that beat after it makes it. I'm so happy that we can just oh, yeah. add stuff that's not in the in the script or in the yeah in the script. Name of Kubrick's and if it's good, we could just add, add it. Abomination. That's Junior, youngest of the elder gods. When the walls tumble. Yeah, I remember there was all this like uh, concern because originally the clones were were supposed to be just like these background characters that had no personality. That, that was like sort of the point of them because they're killing them at the end. And once we started adding like funny clone and hat clone and like trying to make them like have personalities, this is this huge concern that like we were that the end when they were jumping into the torch and sacrificing themselves that people were going to be super heartbroken. And I was that's just, like, so Dude. good though. Yeah, which is good. That's I was like, that's the point. And I was like, plus. We go way over the top and then smash Bunny Clone. So it's like, <laughs> right. That part doesn't matter. One of them gets hit with the, the falling head and then another one gets to stomp on my head. Yeah. Yeah. That Max I flying through the air thing is awesome. Don't. Yeah. Get back into the toy box where you belong, Charlie. You'll never be The voice actor who plays Norrington is awesome. Yeah. 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 Looks like the crowds had just about enough of your guff mop. What do you say, everyone? <laughs> Jesus. What? I've seen all this tough crowd. <laughs> <laughs> the voice processing on that is so good. Oh, this is Is Warrington dead? Oh my god. Oh, no, no, he's wait, sure. Oh, no, he's dead. <laughs> it looks like everything's about to go kablooey. So if you'll excuse me, I'll just ascend into the first. <laughs> How does he do that? He uses psychic powers. I can even use them earlier. Shh. Oh. Sam Max. Oh, okay. <laughs> Magic. Hey. Sam is also a giant talking dog. <laughs> what? What? Useless. I think not. Dr. Norrington? <laughs> Max. Paperweight is dead. Listen. Or is he? The power is within you. None of his eyebrows are thumbs. <laughs> I think Norrington's just unlocked your total psychic potential. Oh, I knew that. Ah, uh, Jake. Your head's about to explode. What? Either way, you should play uh, Uber Max. I worked on the Uber Max effect. Which you only did later, I found out, was so that I would work on in episode five. Yeah, I said, Dennis, I'll give you this cool Uber Max effect. If only you make crazy all stuff right, for my yeah, episode. Like, I will stay late and work all this weekend to make this if you stay late a lot and work on weekends. It's like, crap. <laughs> Epic <laughs> <laughs> oh, years. <laughs> it's classic uh, attack the top or attack me. Attack me, yeah. Attack it's, me. Pretty, it's, it's pretty cultural. Really cool. Hey, you're right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, this is actually making me feel sad. Aww. We rarely actually just show a villain dying, yeah. like being ripped apart on screen. Just why is this <laughs> happening to me? Why won't you play with me? Because you're an evil, creepy psycho control Kristen. Oh yeah, that's true. Dad. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Aww. He went to the same place Super Bowl did apparently. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddies. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> That's my hat, Sham Clone. 
Dennis narrates all the non-verbal parts when he's directing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> what, what animation Buddy. is that? <laughs> I know what that is. You may remember that from too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought we were doing a thing here. <laughs> <laughs> that icky demon seed must have broken my fall. What ridiculous luck. Says you. I think I swallowed some of that dark dimensional demon yolk. <laughs> but that has nothing to do with him turning into a monster. No, no, Doesn't? No, Jake would like to. Like so you know, it's his psychic oh. powers going out of control. <laughs> Funny, Max. I like hilarious. I wasn't trying Eric did a great job with this cutscene, and Jared did I hilarious did stuff with like, the '70s electric like like keyboard start showing up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't feel so good, Sam. <laughs> Hang on, little buddy. I'll go get you some soda crackers and lukewarm pork. Oh, <laughs> that's sad. That still awesome. creeps me out. The halfway between, Max. Yeah. Bunny crew. Aww. Looking into the camera. I love Bunny crew. Help me with Max. He yeah, the idea was that all the clones would have like little Sam, <laughs> <or> Sam <laughs> tendencies. HP Lovecraft spinning through the 13 abyssal planes on a propane grill. <laughs> and this now is personally my my saddest moment in the whole game. <laughs> this? No, 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 no. Oh. This. He day loved one, him. When I was like, we should have a clone with a bunny, and I was like, and he will die at the end. That's all I cared about. <laughs> I remember Eric put a lot of work into the final shot of this where he showed he showed Monster Max in the city uh, being giant and reveling, and I said, my bad. Please please take that out so that we can have it in episode five, and he was really mad because it was probably one in the morning when I asked him to do that. <laughs> in your trembling hands in the concluding chapter of The Devil's Playhouse. <gasps> That's oh, a good clip. Oh it's my god. god. Listening. Sam and Max. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, that was a great episode. Wow. Then commentary, thanks for joining us on this Butt podcast. Poop balls. Thing. <laughs>